Hey, verse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So it is time to give you a Prince Naveen update. So today you're gonna see us try out a new saddle. I previously got him a Fabtron, and I talked about that in one of his previous videos. We'll talk about it again today, but his new Cuda saddle has arrived. So I am hoping this is a good fit for him for the next six months to two years, just depending on how he will bulk up because he's a young horse. Oh my gosh and he's gonna change and bulk out quite a bit and gain some muscle and strength. So we're gonna try that out today, but first what we're gonna do is take a look back at some of the work I've been doing with him. Prince Naveen and I have been having so much fun during our training sessions. So here we are working on hooking on, and what that means is that Naveen will essentially follow me and hook on to what I'm doing. So it's very energy driven. You can see here I'm working on a pivot at Liberty, and he is at liberty during these exercises, meaning I am not using a rope to lead him. He is doing all this at will. So I use positive reinforcement and reward him with treats. Right here, you can see I'm getting him to switch directions and follow me. We're just doing a lot of beginning steps such as walking and halting and turning and pivoting. And he has just been doing fantastic. He seems to be very focused. He likes to be involved. You can see here, I'm getting him to stand. And we've even been working on some bowing. Now you're going to see him do some free lunge liberty. He responds very well. Walk slow. Good boy. Good boy. Walk slow. Good job, buddy. Walk so good boy. Okay, let's take Naveen to the hitching post and groom him, and we're gonna put the saddle on from a static standpoint. Okay, we're just gonna show you guys a quick groom. It's a nice, cool day. Fall is here, officially. It's crazy. It was like 42 degrees this morning, no joke. So today's supposed to be a high of 70 but it's late morning, so it's still a little chipper, but it's actually really nice. But you might be fresh, huh? You might be a little fresh. We'll see. He's been a really good boy. Look how shiny he is. Okay, so this is the saddle I got for him. So I got a narrow gullet and I actually measured him for that. And this is a Cuda Flex Tree saddle. So I got the black version with a suede patch. That just helps with friction and sliding. So I'm really excited to try this out. I've never sat in a Cuda saddle. We're gonna see how it fits you, Naveen. What do you think? I've actually tried five saddles on Naveen, three of which I owned, and then I purchased the Fabtron, which ended up being too wide, even though it was a semi-quarter horse gullet. But that essentially doesn't mean anything because each brand, even if it's full quarter horse bars or semi or whatever the measurement is, there's no universal size chart. So that's the complicated thing when it comes to saddle fitting. I actually went to saddle fitting school a few years ago and I did work with clients previously, but I no longer have time to do that. But of course I will fit for myself. So the reason I didn't have a saddle that fit him is because I don't have a lot of narrow horses. And right now he's more of a narrow build. 
and I think he'll always be slightly more narrow, but he's going to bulk up, as I said. So you can see statically, meaning from a still standpoint, the saddle looks pretty good. I think it's a good fit from a static level. I feel like there's enough clearance. I'm looking at all of the aspects of the saddle and the different points, and that's a whole other thing. There's a lot that goes into it. And you can see here, this has different stirrups. And then this saddle is actually three V-point rigging, which I don't typically prefer, but we are gonna try it today and see how it goes. Okay, so we got the saddle on. Like I said, it is the three V-point rigging. Actually never personally use this. I mean, I rode lightning with a V-point saddle. So we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. But essentially the idea behind it is it's supposed to keep the saddle secure in the front and the back. So this was just the best saddle that I sought out for him. So if we have to do the V-point rigging, it is what it is. And I don't think it's a bad thing, but yeah, we're gonna go try it out and see. So what we're gonna do first is of course, lunge him with the new saddle just to make sure he's used to the different stirrups and of course the rigging and it's going to sound different it's a new saddle he's a young horse i would do this for any horse though so yeah let's go ahead and just do some walk trot on the lunge and then i'm going to go ahead and get on him and we're going to try this saddle out fingers crossed that it works well now number one it's a brand new saddle so it's going to take time to break in number two he has the frisian trot because he is a frisian missouri fox trotter cross but he has that trot, which means it's more animated, so essentially more bouncy. It is not a trot where you can just sit there and post and look pretty. It actually takes a lot of core and effort. Plus he's still young, so he's gaining muscle and balance. I think over time it's gonna be absolutely beautiful and it's fun, but <laughs> I like look at myself riding his trot and I'm like, oh my gosh. And no, I haven't cantered him yet. I will start cantering him very soon and I'm gonna ride him bitless. I actually wanted to do it today, but I thought let's not add so many new things at once. So we're gonna do bitless in the next video. And yeah, then we'll start cantering. We've been working a lot with it on the lunge line and at Liberty like you saw. So let's go ahead and get started. It looks crazy today. So far, Prince Naveen seems to be doing really well with the saddle. Again, they can just make different noises and feel different, a new saddle. And that is why I just think it's vital, especially with a new horse, a young horse, or horses, you know, that just need to adapt to change a little bit, that you should always just lunge them and let them, you know, feel that saddle before getting on. I'm really big on trying to use common sense when working with horses, and I really try to stay safe as much as I possibly can. So I try to set up not only the horse, but myself for success in the best way possible. Now, horses can always just have like knee-jerk reactions. They are flight or fight animals, so things can trigger them no matter what you do or how slow you go. But my goal is to always minimize stress and you know those reactions as much as I possibly can. For those of you who don't know, we purchased Prince Naveen from an auction a little less than two months ago. He is a young horse, and right now our goal for him is just to get him stronger, more balanced, work on his postures and the way that he moves, just to set him up with a good foundation and overall success. Now he is a very quiet horse. He had a good start on him. And now we're just gonna continue to polish him up and get him ready for Kyle to ride eventually. So we'll talk more about that later. But yeah, he has just been incredible so far and we've been extremely happy with him. Our training sessions are just getting better and better each time and he's offering so much. He's a very willing horse. He's intelligent, he's kind, he wants to connect. You can see here, I'm asking him to stretch down a little bit. So we're having some of those great moments of him just stretching down because naturally both of the breeds he's crossed with, both Frisian and Missouri Fox Trotter are typically higher headed. So they have a higher self carriage, but we don't want him to necessarily be low that's just a good stretch to do, but we want him to be slightly more even in the shoulder and a little bit above that. That would be the ideal frame, quote unquote, for his age and his training level.
Also have to throw this out there, Naveen is yawning right there because he's very relaxed. We just did groundwork and that is not pain from the bit, okay? He's yawning. So of course, we're just going to warm up at the walk. Like I said, my initial thoughts are the saddle is comfy. It feels pretty good. Now the big determining factor is how is it going to feel at the trot, right? Especially with his trot. And again, it's just going to take time to get used to it and break it in, but we're going to see. Going back and talking about the static fit of a saddle, meaning stationary essentially, like how does it fit on the horse just looking at it from the ground basically, okay, with no movement essentially. But you cannot fit a saddle just statically. You have to look at it under saddle. Now you can have saddles that fit wonderful statically, but then they are a mess under saddle. So that is a huge component of making sure it's a good fit. And sometimes you can make minor adjustments and tweaks to make sure the saddle fits even better. So it's best to see the saddle in all three gates, but sometimes you can only do walk trot for various reasons, but walk trot canter is the ultimate way to determine proper and correct saddle fit. Now ways to look for correct saddle fit. How is the horse responding? Is the saddle moving? You do want slight motion in the back because if there is no movement, you're gonna get friction, okay? You're gonna get rubs. So you want a little bit of movement, just nothing that's over the top, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and go into the trot and see how this looks. Initially, the saddle looks pretty good. It seems stable. It is moving slightly in the back, but number one, that is just me getting used to his trot and the posting and everything in terms of his gait and the animation that he has within his trot, but also the saddle is brand spanking new. So I do not think there is enough movement in the back to cause any concern. And again, the more balanced he gets and the more I get used to his trot and he gets stronger and develops, I think that will dissipate even more. And of course, we're just warming up so he went straight into his trot it's actually a pretty cool windy day but he is being fantastic his energy and his demeanor is always quiet and calm so that is phenomenal considering that he's young so you can see there he has some really nice moments and then there's some moments where his head is a little bit higher and that is extremely normal for his level of training and where he's at so many people want to just force horses into a frame. There is not one frame that a horse should work in. In order to be beneficial for the horse's biomechanics and that standpoint, they should be worked within multiple postures. Meaning, if you just see the horse tucked in at the vertical, you know, on the vertical, behind the vertical, which isn't correct, behind the vertical, that is not okay. The horse will then become rigid and they will not develop muscle throughout their body, okay? They will only have muscles that are developed from that one frame. And in order to get beneficial postures and to get a well-rounded horse, you have to work different muscle categories. The way I am going to help Naveen achieve a desirable posture, okay, and movement and self-carriage is by letting him develop slowly. It is going to take about two to seven years to develop a horse. And to get Naveen just slightly more lowered and a stronger top line, that is gonna take about a year or two just to improve. So a lot of people will use mechanics, okay? They will use martingales, they will use draw reins, they will use gadgets and all these things to force essentially a horse into a frame. And I'm sorry, it is force because you are then not teaching the horse self-carriage, you are forcing it with a device. You will never see me use these devices, okay? The only thing I will use is a snaffle bit. 
And that is the farthest I'll go. And I believe in bitless. Obviously, I've designed bitless bridles, but I am huge on teaching the horses to go in a bit and in a bitless bridle. But anyways, my point is I take a lot of time to just build their strength naturally by trail riding, hacking out, pole work, time, consistency, groundwork, liberty, different exercises that I've shown in some of my other videos. I am not expecting Naveen, a young green horse, to just go into a frame. I'm not going to seesaw on his mouth. I might massage the bit a little bit with my reins more of like a vibrational method just to encourage him to stretch but you are not going to see me force him into a frame and that's what so many people want to do and i am not by any means saying that i am the best rider in the world or the best trainer i'm not all i'm saying is i try my best just to give them time to develop naturally and slowly with training without force without gadgets What's really cool about Prince Naveen is he truly will be able to go in any direction. I am so excited. I can see him, you know, continuing with Liberty. I can see him doing English and Western, which I definitely plan to do English with him too. And I think he'll be great at jumping when he's old enough to jump, trail riding. I mean, he just has the build and the look to be able to go anyway. And I think that's going to be fantastic. I'm really excited to see what he actually prefers to do. So this journey is going to be really incredible. And then, of course, to add Kyle into the mix is going to be even more gorgeous to see. So, of course, other than just training Naveen and getting him well-rounded, our plans are to get him on the trail with both myself and then when Kyle can eventually ride him. So we really want to use him for trail riding and camping and have a lot of fun with that. And he's been on trail rides before. I definitely want to get him out soon. I just wanted to get him settled in here, figure out his gates, you know, all of that. But what I actually really want to try with him someday, and this won't be for a few more years or, you know, maybe a couple is try some endurance riding. So some of you might not realize I used to do competitive endurance riding. I did the 30 mile competitions. Jiminy was actually my main endurance horse, but I've done them with other horses I've owned as well. And I really liked it, but it takes a specific horse to be able to do it. Jiminy was really good, but he's getting a little bit older now. And I just didn't want to put all the miles and the wear and tear into him. But anyways, I really want to try one with Naveen in the future. So that is definitely one of my goals with him. And I really want to do more Liberty. So I want to get better at Liberty. It's one of my goals for winter is to go to more clinics, advance my knowledge and take more lessons. Summer and fall are my really busy seasons, but come winter, I like to, you know, kind of regroup, take a break and then refocus. So that is the goal. So here you can see I'm asking Naveen to pick up more of an extended trot. So a faster trot is what we're doing right now. He just gave me one second of a lovely little posture. And those are the moments I like to see. Now I'm going to do something. Naveen is feeling pretty good and he's being so great. So I'm going to go ahead and ask him for canter. I've never cantered him before and I really don't know how much canter work he's done in the past. There we go. We went right into it. That was actually an excellent transition, all things considered. And I'm keeping him on a large circle just in case he was to do something a little goofy. That way I could turn him in and stop. You know what I'm saying? Just have more control. But the second he went into it, I felt fantastic. So I'm letting him go a little bit. I'm even neck reining. I just feel incredible. So to answer the question, yes, this horse, Prince Naveen, is everything we could ever hope for and more. He is fantastic. I'm obsessed with him. I love him. Kyle loves him. He was such a great addition. I'm so happy that we won the bid and we essentially fought for him because he is awesome and he has so much potential. Look at that little stop. <laughs> Oh, am I your safety? Oh boy. Yeah.
That was so good. Prince Naveen did really well, and I'm super proud of him. That was just another wonderful milestone within his training. All right, horse lovers. Well, we canter today, so that was really fun. So I do think this saddle fits him well. I think it's a really good option for him while he's still growing and developing. I really actually liked it. It's comfortable. And yeah, so that's really good. And we had so much fun cantering. He was such a good boy. Of course, he just needs to gain more balance and strength, but overall it was really fun. I love him. He's such a good horse. Yeah, that was awesome. So what'd you think of him today? He did good. Kind of seen canter and that was fun. Yeah, he did really yeah, well. pretty fast, but it good. It looks good. I didn't feel like it was fast, honestly. No. no. <laughs> Maybe it was, but I didn't feel like it. You're doing a pretty tight circle, so it looked Yeah. When I was filming, I had to turn around just because I didn't know how he was going to be, it's kind of better to keep him off the rail, do a little bit of a circle. But now I'm like, oh, he's a good boy, which I already knew, but yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of like this different kind of girth setup, too. I might, I might want to try that on the trail. It's kind of cool. So Kyle should be able to ride him a little bit soon. Like, I just would, you know, have him get on and walk around a little bit just to get Naveen used to him. Naveen is super good, but guys, like, I don't ever, like, kick or do anything crazy on him not that Kyle would but he's super sensitive and I feel like I have a really good read on him and an understanding of when to essentially apply pressure and when to release it where somebody like no offense just like Kyle who is actually a really good rider but doesn't necessarily like train and understand timing as feel feel as much that's where I feel like Naveen could just get a little nervous he's not a nervous horse but like he could just be a little caught off guard and then Kyle might not know how to you know draw in if that makes any sense at all. So I think he's going to be actually a wonderful fit for you when he's a little farther along and more muscled up. Um, he's a great size for Kyle, but Naveen still needs to develop. Like I'm not quite comfortable putting a larger person on him until he fills out a little bit more too. But like I said, Kyle will be able to get on at the walk and just like hang out. And I think that'll be a really good start to the relationship. Once you get used to his trot, I'm telling you it is, <laughs> like but his canner's great. His canner's awesome. And it'll get better. His trot will be way better when, um, you know, yeah. he's more balanced and everything. I think you'll like him a lot once you get used to him. He'll be a different ride for you, too. A different kind of horse. Also, horse lovers, we are doing a giveaway in the Spirited Horse Boutique. So if you place an order today, anyone who places an order is then put in the drawing to win a free shirt or pants of your choice, free lipstick of your choice, one of our lip glosses, whichever one you choose, and a mystery gift, which is actually a brand new product that we have not released yet, and it is amazing. So like I said, all you have to do to enter that drawing is go ahead and order anything. There's no price limit or anything like that. And then we're gonna pick a winner and announce them on September 12th. I know the person who won the outfit last time, she was super excited about it, and that just makes me really happy. So you can check that out in the comments. In the description, you'll find a link. So if you like Free Spirit Equestrian, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything free spirit equestrian or any updates with Naveen and we'll see you next time